Oh, come on, look at this. We've got time stretch. If I tap up here, look at this. This is awesome. What else? We go into the tools. We got, we got auto chopping. We got auto chopping. Oh, this is so awesome. If we go into sequence here and select like here and double tap on this square. Oh, look at that. We got a piano roll. Hello there, dear viewer, and welcome to, you know what? I'll introduce myself at the end of this episode. I just want to help you to get to the Koala Sampler Samurai update that just got put out. Now, what I'm showing here is a bit misleading because it looks as if you're paying for each and every one of these three updates, but you're not. They're actually just all in one purchase. So you only pay once to get all of these functions. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the App Store. So open up that app and make sure that Koala Sampler is updated. Now, it might look as if there are no updates available for Koala Sampler. And if that's the case, then just search for Koala Sampler on the App Store, tap on its page, and when it opens up, wait a little bit because it can take uh, some time for the updates to actually update in the stores before you see them. Once you see it, update it. And when Koala Sampler is updated, open up Koala Sampler. Now with Koala Sampler opened up, it's gonna take you ages to find the in-app purchases if you don't have any samples loaded or recorded onto any pads. So the first thing you should do if you're opening an empty project is just tap down one of the pads and record a little something. Koala Sampler Samurai Update is lit as fuck. Now, once you've selected a sample, just go to the edit menu. Now, if you're on an iPad, you're gonna see a Samurai button instantly. If you're on an iPhone, you're gonna have to scroll two times on the arrow buttons to the right, and you'll see the Samurai button. Once you press that, you're gonna get prompted with the in-app purchase. And now you just need to press buy and go through the purchase process. Once you've done that, you now have access to time stretching inside Koala Sampler, a piano roll, and also auto chopping. Okay, so where do you find these new functions? Well, if you want to find the time stretching and um, also auto chopping, you have to go to a sample pad and open the edit menu. You'll find the time stretching right here. And then if you want to get the auto chopping, you go to tools and press auto chop and there's all your options for that. Now for the piano roll, you go to the sequencer page and you just double tap on one of these and it will open up for you and you'll have a full piano roll. Now there is this one thing you need to know about the time stretching mode. And so if we select a pad and we press edit and we go to the time stretch and we tap that, we get this bar up here saying one bar. Now, if we press that, we get all the other options. And it turns out that the modern and re-pitching, these two algorithms, they do not work with the keyboard mode. So as long as you keep that in mind, you're good. It's definitely one of the best updates for Koala Sampler. My name is Jakob Hack. you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, I've been showing you how to get the new Samurai update for Koala Sampler. Now, before you leave, if you found this video helpful, then why not hit me with a thumbs up? And if you wanna support this channel and the work I do, share my videos, and you can also support me financially through the links here on the side. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.